Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Love for Intuitive Astrology. My name is Michelle and I'm going to present to you the forecast for July 2020 for the sign of Taurus. So if you have your sun, your moon or your rising sign in Taurus, then this video is for you. Um, yeah, Taurus, what a times we live in right now, because honestly, a lot of things are happening in the sky and are happening in everyone's life. We're happening globally. Um, yeah, just last month in June, we had two eclipses. One in Sagittarius, a lunar eclipse, and one solar eclipse um, in Cancer. So uh, don't think it's finished because in July we're going to have another lunar full moon eclipse. And it's going to be in the sign of Capricorn. So Capricorn is the sign of responsibilities. It's the sign of independence. It's the sign of setting goals. It's the sign of hard work, you know. And as a fellow Earth sign, you're completely okay with that. So, um, yeah, let's see what's going on for you. Uh, this eclipse, which is happening on the 5th of July. For you, it's happening in your ninth house. And the ninth house is about higher learning. It's about faraway travels. Unfortunately, during the coronavirus right now, it's a bit difficult to go on faraway travels. Maybe you got stuck on a faraway travel. I mean, that could have been definitely possible. Um, but it's like the universe has forced you to connect with the divine lately. It's like um, you were kind of set in a place where you had to connect with yourself, with a higher power, where you had to believe in something bigger than yourself. Um, you know, it, it doesn't matter if this is religion or the universe you're an atheist or whatever it doesn't matter it's you are really connecting so to something that is higher than yourself and you could have been getting a lot of messages um something that was really bringing you a lot of information that you could work on and especially with all these retrogrades happening uh it's it's brought you so much more than you could ever uh, imagine uh yeah, and this month uh, we're having some less retrogrades. Um, Venus right now is going direct again in July, which is truly amazing. And the positive thing is it's in the second house. And uh, this is your house, Taurus. I mean, uh, originally the second house is the house of Taurus. And Taurus uh, is totally good with money, possessions. Um, for you, it's in the sign of Gemini, but still, it's about uh, making money. So if you had a bit of a break or um, this retrograde really made you think about your income, like uh, it made you think about, do I deserve the money that was coming to me versus what I'm delivering in quality? And now with this Venus going direct, you might hunt for some new job. You might look for something new um, because you feel you're actually worth more. You're worth way more than right now what you're getting. Like uh, you're maybe in a position um, where you feel like you're not as appreciated as you should be. But at the same time, this was a time for you to connect, to connect to something higher than yourself. Um, you're gonna go soon to a cycle uh, of hard work, you know, but you have to wait until Mars goes into your sign of Taurus in the first house because now Mars is in the 12th house. It's kind of hiding, you know, you spend some time on friends before and in July it's gonna be, you're gonna be a little bit low on energy. Um, you're gonna feel like you know, you might take action on something behind the scenes. So it's more like you've been working on maybe some project or you've been you've been thinking about switching your job. You've been thinking about switching um, something in your life. And it's like you need to reconnect um, with the divine to understand what is suiting to you because right now you have been on a path that you thought would make you the most money 
And I know that Taurus loves money. It loves like possessions and anything that makes it feel, uh, you know, for girls, maybe you like to look on your best, even for guys, you know, um, you love a, a good car or nice clothes or silky clothes. I don't know, like something that makes you feel um, in a way, this is how Taurus feels nurtured. You like good food. Um, this is where you want to spend your money on. And it's so important for you to be in a position where you can give that to yourself. You know, and that is now where the eclipse, where Capricorn comes in. Okay, you want these things, but how can you get there? Uh, connect with the above to understand what is, where do you need to go, you know? Because you want all this luxury, which is completely fine. It's good to be in a position where you feel safe, because that is what Taurus needs. You need to feel safe and secure where you are. And uh, why not with a bit of luxury? But it is about how you spend your money. So it is about how you budget your money and, um, you know, where do you put your money? So it is a month where you can earn a lot. Uh, maybe something unexpected coming in or maybe you obtain like a bonus in your job. This is definitely uh, possible. Um, or it is something you worked really hard for and now you can just relax. Uh, but I feel more it's it's time for a new cycle. It's time for something new. You've been waiting for this. Um, and uh, this month you're gonna have uh, the sun is in cancer because it's a cancer season. So um, yeah, you're gonna have your sun in your third house. So it is about communicating you're gonna like go around communicate tell people how you feel about the situation that you're at you kind of want to communicate on um like deep conversations you want to tell people how you feel and you're in return are really transforming uh people around you so if you're a writer or a blogger or anything or you communicate in your uh online or in some way of writing, of uh, informing people, by your communication, you could really transform. Um, this is because Jupiter and Pluto are coming together and it's in your ninth house. So it's like, if you're, you know, it's broad, it's worldly. It's something that you say on a worldly matter that could impact people. And even though you're maybe, I don't know, you're in a yoga group and you're saying something, it's like, Wow, we never thought about it that way. So you have this kind of mm, catalyst energy uh, in which you transform others. And why is that? Because you're reflecting on yourself. You've been reflecting on everything that you've been feeling from the inside and you would like to share it to people. You know, I've discovered this about me. Maybe this would help for you too. You know, I've been in the same situation and I understand where you're coming from. So uh, this month is like on the 12th of July, we're going to have Chiron is going retrograde. And Chiron is the, the wounded healer, they call it. It's an asteroid that's the wounded healer. And um, it's going to be like you're going to feel some pains coming up that you thought you solved, but it's still there. Or something unconscious is coming up and you feel like, you know, a sudden wave of uh, crying, you know, you're going to feel like, oh, what happened to me? And um, yeah, it's not really fair. Um, but don't worry about it. This month, it is time to take action on it. It's for you in your 12th house. Oh my God, you're so connected to change things at this time. And um, yeah, your Mars is conjuncting your Chiron. So you could either be defensive about what you feel and deny it, or you can take action on it and improve it. And you know, you can improve it by meditating. You can improve it by yoga. You can improve it by writing about it. So this is really something that you can take both hands on to improve the situation where you're at. You know, your Chiron is in the 12th house. It's like, uh, maybe you've been so afraid to be alone. Has it been bothering you to, 
be isolated you know maybe you have spent some time by yourself and you find it so scary or you feel lonely even though you're alone and now it is time to understand that you're never alone you never will be alone you're already a whole so everyone that's coming into your life uh, being an addition is another gift but you're a gift on your own so it is really time to embrace this part of you like i'm not um i'm not alone i'm always with someone even though i can't see it i love my own presence i love being connected so um you're gonna you know i feel that you've been really going around people that have been like spiritual friends you've you've been changing your groups a little bit you know more people that are nurturing more people that are you know want to dream with you because this has been lacking for you you're like okay i want people that see the dreams that i see that understand this uh, intuitive side you know um it's not always that common for Taurus to go this deep, but you feel you're craving it. You've been craving it. You, you've been wanting to either you embrace your wounded healer and you've been alone and you've been connecting and you had a lot of dreams that were predicting something. So if you have a journal, please write your dreams down. Okay, on the 21st, we're having a double new moon in Cancer. This means that it's the second month that Cancer, uh, that a new moon is happening in Cancer. For you, that's in your third house. It's a bit of a, it could a bit, be a bit tough, you know, because um, Saturn, as you know, went back into Capricorn and it's uh, opposing your sun and your moon so you might feel a little bit restricted in uh, the way you feel or you could see it as organizing and you know stay at home as a real cancer cancer like to introspect uh, you know just feel the emotions and even if you feel a bit pessimistic uh, on where you're gonna go just treat yourself you know uh, be like a Taurus treat yourself have a nice mask I don't know um, spoil yourself go to a nice dinner I don't know and uh, you know cancer also like to be nurtured so combine those two and you will see you're gonna feel a lot better at the same time Ceres is a big uh, aspect this month uh, it's in your 11th house and it's aspecting during this lunar eclipse in Capricorn. So um, it could be that your friends are really going to be the people that uh, are going to nurture you during this month. And it could also be that your mother is kind of becoming more of your friend. And you feel this, this nurture and you see how much your mom has sacrificed for you and how much your mom is really loves you. So um, I feel this month is going to be, it's going to be incredible in transformation for you. Um, let me get some extra card to close this reading for you. I mean, I could go on for hours, but I want to keep it a little bit short and, and easy to understand. But Taurus, absolutely, what a time it is. And I feel, you know, a lot of things will happen for you. But look at this card. It's all telling you what I've just been telling you. Take a step back, you know? You want to move forward so badly, but there are some things that you are missing. You need to make a clear plan. How, what, where, and... So use your Capricorn to make a plan and use your Cancer for your intuition. You know, go deep, dive deep and understand... How do you feel? What is really suiting you? So you don't make the, you know, there's never wrong decisions, but sometimes you need to take a little bit more time to understand what it is really what you want. And you need to be alone to understand what is really what you want. Be alone and spend time with your spiritual friends or your friends that you, that you feel nurtured with or that nurture you and, you know, go for that. And I hope... 
uh, this was all clear for you. I hope you like my video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel. I also do private readings, so you can send me an email for more information so I can look at your chart specifically. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really hope to see you again. I'm making monthly videos, so um, I'm really excited. And uh, I wish you all the best for July, uh, Taurus. Have a blast, honestly. Thank <music> you.